Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine. And today I want to show you some 3D prints that I did and a new product. Uh, let me start with the 3D prints. I used to use this for my M5 paper to display it, but I didn't like it much, especially since it's this deep. So I did 3D print this little stand here, which you can see it just sits in here. And it's actually the same. I first printed it a little narrower and then I figured why not make it wider. So that's the stand. It's not uh, designed for vertical horizontal view because then it would tip to the back. As you can see, so it's only for horizontal view, but actually I will, after this video, just uh, glue my stand to my desk with double-sided tape, and then it will be, of course, be able to hold it this way as well. So that's that. If you're interested, I will put a link for download on my Thingiverse uh, account. The link to it, to my Thinkverse account, is in the description where I do share other 3D prints. So this is uh, not only for that, you could use this for your phone, whatever. You could, of course, when you slice it in your 3D program, uh, make it wider, deeper or whatever. And so that's what I designed. I also designed a stand for my round uh, single digit clock which is this little guy, Adam, uh, I could not send you one because I had troubles with my 3D printer. Now it's working again and on your next order, whatever it might be, I will send you this little stand that you can easily put the clock on it and it gives it an angle towards the back. So it, it's angled towards you and uh, obviously <clears throat> it does not roll away and I will put a link for this as well uh, maybe you can some use it for something else that's around and uh, anyway I did also make a smaller stand for my TT Go display with the matrix screensaver and um, now comes the my new product which is this little guy here um, it is a CAN bus gear indicator just a gear indicator nothing less nothing more and it's connected to my simulator and here since I have a five gear transmission you can see that it shows one through five. If you have a six gear transmission, it will show you obviously one through um, six. Since my transmissions are automatic, I have when it's when I'm not moving, it's showing D. And uh, for manual transmission, it will show uh, N. And it does have a startup logo. It's just a capital, just a letter of my first name. And I'm gonna probably make some other logo for it. Actually, when I I did the code before I had uh, the gear indicator finished, and then when I uploaded the code and it turned on, I didn't know myself what this was supposed to be un un until I realized it's my first uh, letter for my first name. So this is it. It connects through USB Type-C to my simulator. On your car it will have a USB cable going to... Let me unplug it real quick for my simulator. It will have OBD plug and that OBD plug has also a USB connector so you can use any cable. This one is angled. Uh, you can use a straight plug whatever and uh, this is what you plug into your car. 
and then back into the gear indicator and I did design the 3D print this is a hole for the LDR it has automatic maybe I should show that automatic display brightness and the brightness levels on these LED matrixes are 16 step so you can see that it does dim which you need because this would be way too bright in a car it would make your car all blue uh, obviously you can get this in red or in green as well uh, i might buy some matrices in white as well i'm not sure but you have three colors and uh, once you supply me your car make uh, gears, I need transmission radio ratio, final drive ratio and your tire size, then it will calculate the gear by itself without you don't have to adjust anything. I will do the adjusting in the code. And um, well, it's a pretty basic case. I mean, to make it as small as possible, that's the smallest size you can, or the sh smallest shape you can print. It does have, however, a beveled edge to the inside, so it's not just uh, straight. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it does have a beveled edge to the inside. So this is my CAN bus gear indicator. It will work for cars. Uh, 2008 and later and um, this case actually you could use it for my spectrum analyzer that I still did not put up on Tim, my Tindy store yet so this is a spectrum analyzer based on the M MSG EQ7 chip and um, that one will go into a case as well and I might print a three D uh, four matrix version, so I can put my clock into a case as well. So this is my new product, and in case you're wondering what this is, app uh, touch sensor. This is my uh, second version of my OLED track, which is based on the Atmega twelve eighty four chip. It has Type-C connector, USB connectivity, a 2-inch IPS display, a rotary encoder and the code right now that's on here is an accelerometer code which shows you the different uh, axes and it also has three touch sensors, one on this side, one here and one here. It has obviously the LEDs and uh, i did not get around to it i will print a 3d frame for it, a transparent one so the lights will shine through but it will be um, more or less dust proof so the dust won't get in here uh, it also has wireless charging and the carbon fiber front and uh, this is it i built this and i wanted to make different items with it different products but i never got around to it and it's been sitting on my desk for i guess over a year now maybe even longer and also has two neo pixels here i can show you oops i got to the touch sensor once you turn it in you have that goes around and lights up and you could use it for anything that you like so that's that and this is my OLED gate um, you can find the code for it in the description um, just search for OLED gate and you'll find it and this is my version of the hardware for it it has four games and uh, I think this was it. This is my double matrix clock, which comes with different codes. Uh, this one shows the date and the time. It also has a vertical version, 
where it's similar to the clock over here and uh, the reason why it's white I did not take the protective film of the acrylic yet off yet from the acrylic that's why it's a uh, milky red so I will do that or leave it for the customer to take off um, well actually the protective film is on both sides and so you won't have to unscrew it I will take the inside ones out or maybe all of them and ship it out like that I just didn't want it to get any fingerprints or whatever while on my desk so this is it um, like I said I will put the link in the well actually the link is in the description I will upload it to my Thingiverse account and maybe you can use it uh, as a stand for your phone well I can show it on my phone because I'm recording with my phone but uh, anything else you might have you might be able to put it in there and use it on your desk this is it uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody and 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 I want to thank all the people that do use my Banggood affiliate links link links yeah I got more than one link uh, thank you for that it does help and um, every little bit helps actually so I wanted to, to thank that and my current patreons so anyway thanks for watching and I wish everybody a great week take care till later